Six loud and clear. How do you copy me? Mission is garbled. Communication glitches in Roseville affecting the Roseville Police Department. The city has switched to a new dispatch communication system. Now there's concern over officer safety there. Only on CBS 13, Angela Musalam is live at the Roseville Police Department with what safety measures are being taken to protect officers. Angela. At Tony Agent, two Roseville police officers are now being assigned to one patrol car as backup. And the city had the option to go with Sacramento or Placer County's current communication system, but it chose to operate its own. <laughs> Muffled audio captured of a Roseville police officer trying to communicate with dispatch Saturday night. Communication problems could be heard for at least a half hour. Bobby, what was the loud beep we all just heard? That's unknown. My radio said it was an out of range beep. The problem started after the city upgraded its public safety communication system in August. The primary issues really could uh, come down to um, having a hard time understanding the clarity of some of the transmissions that were coming through. It's a dangerous problem for officers to have in the field. They rely on dispatchers as a lifeline. Roseville PD says it's concerned about officer safety and has come up with a temporary plan. We've moved now to a temporary uh, staffing situation where we have two officers per patrol car. The department is also using a backup communication system while the kinks in the new one are worked on in case of a critical incident. Anytime you're doing a major technology transfer like this that you're going to have, have some glitches. Paul Neiman is a public safety radio communication expert who says these glitches are pretty risky and could open the door to catastrophic incidents. The city of Oakland upgraded to a new radio system about 10 years ago, which failed in 2012 during a visit from President Obama. Oakland police officers couldn't communicate for about a half hour. This uh, shows one of those reasons why officer safety really is so, uh, is so paramount for um, officers to be able to communicate. Rob Becerra says the new system was tested before it rolled out, but couldn't tell us for how long. Six loud and clear. How do you copy me? A new communication system worth more than six million dollars, taking a back seat for now until it becomes a lifeline once again. And there's no estimated time frame for when this new system will be fully operational. And by the way, the city is not going to be paying the vendor its final payment until this problem is fixed. Important point there, All right, Angela? We saw him live in Roseville. Angela, thank you.